will not be surprising for Hitchcock. The way he was thinking about his style of cinema, he was thinking that he is doing experiment on the audience. And really, and he leads you in one place, and then he surprises you, and takes you to another turn, and then again, you build your expectation, and then you break it down again. So basically, he, he did his experiment on the viewers, and this is exactly what he predicts. He predicts that when you go to this movie, you go to a sequence of stages that will design to have effect on your brain, and this is why you see the similarity. There is no freedom for the audience over here. It's a very, it's like a machine that forced you from one state to the other and take control over your brains, and finally your whole brains become resonant and aligned with the movie in a very powerful and complicated way because you have to remember each brain area is responding differently, but it's responding very similar across all of you. And that's not only about the brain responses, as we discussed a lot yesterday, it's also controlling your autonomic system. So this is a measurement of the galvanic skin responses, that measuring your sweat while you're watching the movie. So you can see at the beginning of the movie, subjects are excited, so there is like a bump over here. But as the exposition, this is the exposition part, you can see people relaxed and gathering the information who is the kid, who is the uncle that came from Africa, the father, the mother, the characters. But as he's taking the gun, you can see there is a big rise over here because you're all starting to sweat. And you start to be ex excited when he's like, uh, over here he's shooting the mother, okay? So this is the point when you're shooting the mother and you're highly excited and worried. But then it's gone on and you become even further you got more worried because you're adding more and more bullets, right? And then at the end, <laughs> okay, this is when you have this shooting and explosion and the mother is about to faint, and this is when he's about to shoot the maid. And you, and you know now that you have like six bullets. There is nothing random over here. Next shot is going to be real, right? So, so it's everything designed. And, and look on the peak at the beginning, the people at the beginning like, look like nothing relative to the explosion you are about to feel in your skin and body. And this is when you have the last shot. And immediately, what's interesting, immediately after, when you look on, on subject, immediately you can see the movie ending, it stopped controlling your autonom autonomic system, the response is going back to baseline. So you can see this, this movie is a steps of processes that designed to have a very strong effect over the audience.